Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Conan Exiles. We're going to be going to do another exploration uh, of, uh, of the map. Let me just uh, get this repaired and I'll show you what I'm thinking we're going to do today. Uh, so, last time we went all the way around up to Thugra Stand. Uh, we've got all this area still to explore and this area down here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go down past Sinner's Refuge along the coast come up and kind of circle around and see what's here. Now this is moving towards the e easier area. Uh, the further south and east you go, the easier the game gets. So I thought clearing that out first before we get move in to the unnamed city would be the right thing to do. Um, I am going to take pretty much all my stuff with me just in case we find someone interesting to bring back or something interesting to bring back. We've got the capacity to do that. Now, getting to Sinner's Refuge was down here and then Hawk left. That's actually uh, where we got our entertainer from, I believe. Lots of bunnies along here. We're not on a bunny murder mission today, though. I know, I know. You're probably as disappointed as I sound in that... Uh, in that statement but uh, we have places to go things to do and if we spend all our time just having a look around that we'll never actually get anywhere okay right I think there's a little camp there let's go see what that is successful descent there are, of course, wild animals on the way over, but they die easily enough. And I'm not going to bother skinning them this time. We do have our tanner at the tannery now. Uh, I got that done just a couple of moments ago. Okay, let's get our... stamina back before engaging properly. Cool, all dead. So that's Sinner's Refuge. And up here, there's a lot of hyenas. And a bird. Well, we've shot those vultures before with arrows. They die pretty easily. I wonder if there's anything down. Doesn't look like it. But three at once might be a little bit difficult. Back up. Okay, they're all dead. And there is actually nothing here. Just a just a wounded, very wounded, dead animal. And some hyena cubs. Okay. I do like the fur on this one though. That's very cool. You know what, we will Get that. It doesn't actually give us a different colour pelt or anything, but uh, seeing as we're right here, we may as well. We can always drop it later if it turns out it's a bad idea for us to be holding on to it. Now, what the hell is that? That's one of the sentinels. So we're actually up quite high. Sumerian Exile and Stygian Exile. That was, that was such a terrible miss. Alright, well. You gave it a good go, mate. You take your Iron Head arrows, because, I mean, they're always useful. And a Glass Flask, why not? Actually seems like a reasonable... Uh, reasonable thing to be holding up here. So who is this? Are they friendly? Not friendly. And they're quite the hello. Orange die. Alright, now we don't need the hyena pelts. We'll just leave, leave a bunch of hyena pelts on his body. 
Okay, yeah, so we've just made it back round to the Sentinels. So, probably exploring down this way is going to be the next thing we want to do. There is a camp just over the way. Look at that. You see that up there? I think that's going to be the next big thing that we hit. I don't want to make sure that uh, we're not just missing anything immediately obvious along the coast. I mean, unless you actually scour every inch of the world, you're not going to find everything. There's another camp over there as well. That's a, like a little outcropping. Okay, we may have to go to that in a moment. But this bit up here is first. So much to see, so much to do. Uh, let's eat some unblemished human flesh. I'm going to have to go out and, and gather some of that in a moment. Uh, after this episode, probably. Just so that we've definitely got a big stockpile. I think let's... Let's come up here and we will surprise them. By being exhausted when we finish our climb. Well, they've not seen me yet. So. One down, two down. Now I've managed to start the looting process before he fell off the edge. I don't actually want any of that. The other dude is down below. So much for their guards. Didn't expect me to climb up the mountain edge, I guess. This is very atmospheric with the, uh, with the vultures up above. As always, we want to pick off the archers first. Yark, what was that? Um, nothing I really care about there. Let's go a bit further out. Now his friend is going to engage, but we should have enough time to take him out before that happens. Who are you? Are you just a regular fighter? Yeah. Just a regular fighter. Nothing. Nothing. Gave us a tiny bit of a knock, but uh, nothing that we need to worry about. So Carver's Crest. This is kind of cool. Next up. Fighter 3, okay. Fighter 3, not very fighty. Beast. Totally standing on their fire giving absolutely zero fucks. Okay, we've got a chest over here and don't really care about any of that. The Defy banner's nice, but uh, I'm not going to carry that around for a huge amount of time only to uh, then place it somewhere that we're not going to stick. Silver coin, glass flask, both of those worth holding on to, and let's murder this guy. Eh, don't want any of that either. Okay, so back to having a look around the camp. There might be some interesting things around. Oh, still a dude left alive. That's a carpenter, we've already got one. 
Quit it. Starting to annoy me. If I watch mask, we've got one of those back at base. Uh, grease orbs will take those. Believe the iron head arrows. Is that? No, that's not enough. Ah, fine. We'll leave. Let's repair our thing. I should have left these behind. That was my mistake. I brought them with me when I didn't need to. It's good for repairs on the move. But uh, overall, it is unhelpful for what we're trying to do. I could have left most of my tools behind as well, but because there is always the opportunity to find something interesting, I like bringing them along. Okay, so we're at Carver's Crest. I think we'll head round towards that uh, outcropping over there. There's something above and below, and there's another camp off to the side. So down, and this is going to be very dark. Apologies, but even if we had a torch at this point, it would be still very dark. Now, shellbacks and things attacking us on the way, I don't care that much about. We're just going to move on past them. We could stop and kill them, but we're not going to get anything really, except perhaps a bit of experience. Speaking of experience, actually, uh, we are level 31 at the moment. We don't have any points left to assign. At this point, exploration experience is good. Mm, do I want that for some more? Kill him and repair my armor. No, no, we'll stay. We'll stay on mission. I think we'll do the down first, and then we'll have a look at what's going on up top. Oh, hello, Croc. Just totally ran into him. Narrow next span. Okay. This must be named because uh, you can. Almost cross it on foot. Are you friendly? No, you're not. You look like you've been exiled, mate. Not a cool place to be down the bottom. Well, seeing as we know that there's a camp up there. May as well climb up and, uh, and see what's going on. Ooh, there's a bearer. Do I want a bearer? I probably do at some point. There's a performer as well. Okay, they're all coming. I'm assuming that was a fighter. Oh, green die. Man. I'm just going to get heavier and heavier. Alright, you next, lady. Performer. Performer with your massive, massive daggers. Okay. So, bits and bobs. Another little camp just over there. Are there any notes? No, oh, but there's a there's a loot chest. Oh, water orbs we don't really want. It's worth checking just in case there's something cool in there. Because you never know what the RNG is going to give you. And then we'll start fighting our way inland. Careful stun locking. Prevent him from making any offensive moves at me.
Okay, so narrow neck span. I think we head north from here. We could sort of follow this round a little bit, but that looks to be the more interesting direction to go. It's nice going out and exploring and seeing what's around. All of these places could have made uh, good uh, good spots for building up a base. If we hadn't um, picked the place right next to all the ironstone. And man, that was a good place to pick. I am so happy that we got there. There's another camp. Oh, I see the Davari banner. Okay, well, let's startle the rabbit. Jeez, oh, it wasn't even startled. We are the worst hunter. Then we'll uh, hop down and kill everyone in this camp. Cannibals rest. Why would it target the creature? Sometimes the uh, the lock on is a bit pants. All right, you next. Another archer, okay. All right, everyone's dead. Let's uh, just glug some water and we'll have a look at what they've got. Eh, nothing I really care about. No, no. Still, Cannibal's Rest is there. Let's uh, carry on heading north along this front area. What's that? That's definitely some kind of tent structures. Am I going to have my ass handed to me if I step across there? Well, I'm, I'm going to step across it anyway, so it doesn't doesn't actually matter. But yeah, proper rock steps and and everything. Okay. Kill that archer first. Just as the cutlass was growing rusty. Well, yeah, if you're walking around in the water, I wouldn't be surprised. Bark! Okay, so we are now going to be over encumbered. So we're going to have to be a lot more careful about what we're doing. But that's fine. We got bark. Bark is. Uh, 25 bark is like 10 minutes of gathering. Right, in which case, we may as well gather everything we can. Uh, probably not the stone, though. That's not going to be any use. Get some more regenerating going. In fact, how close am I to being a let's drop the iron bowl earthenware? Could do a little bit more repairing. Yeah, the bark is quite weighty. The iron bars are the the biggest thing, so. This may not be the best plan moving in to engage while over encumbered, but I want to find out what this place properly is. Scavenger's Basin.
All right. He was not particularly difficult. That was a black hand cap. Dark dye colorant, iron bar. I'll take the candle as well. Why not? So that gained us a level. Okay, we could put points into encumbrance, but that seems like a foolish thing to do. Uh, I'm going to keep putting my points into agility. As far as feats go, let's have a look and see what we could do. I think a sandstorm mask is definitely something that we need to do at some point. That takes 50 to learn a new religion. Wow. Can load cutlasses. Exotic game hunter. So that's how I can mount that. I need to be level 47 before I get to do that. Okay, that's fine. That's gonna be quite a way away. Um hmm. Stygian spear. What can the iron course glue be doing? Pack. Let's let's go properly weapons. Maybe the Stygian spear is the best thing. I think I'm going to want um, better buildings though, and better tinkering. So let's let's do a couple of those. And gatekeeper. And tents could be good. And blunted javelin. In case you can't reach the person to knock them out, you can just do it at range. All right, we'll we'll save our remaining point because again, that's not why we're here. We are here to explore. Oh my word! There's a lot of people in this camp. Okay, we should not do this overburdened. So, you. Hold my iron bars while I murder your friends and I'll come back for them. Seems like a bad idea. That archer is twitchy. Okay, worth losing my stamina for a second to get that one killed. More bark! Alright. This is a very good place to potentially make a camp. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put down my bedroll down here on the beach bit. Building is not allowed here. I can do it right at the water's edge, though. That'll be fine. Okay, so we have a potential respawn point. I don't have uh, enough materials to make a chest here. We are quite far away from home. But I'm going to keep exploring this uh, this camp, nevertheless. Now with the fresh bodies killed up here, I'm going to put the heavy stuff that I've just picked up on one of these. Probably you. Let's get the archer. Ah, 
Back away. <clears throat> oh, it's a carpenter three. Okay, let's try and take him. Because <clears throat> Carpenter 3 is awesome. Pokey, pokey, mate. Did he just say Pokey Pokey, mate? This is going to be a slow drag home. But I'm okay with that. Right. Everything from you. Everything from you. Everything from you. And we're going to take you back with us. Just as soon as I've looted that chest that they've got over that far side. Worth it for the bark alone. I'm going to come back without being quite as encumbered at some point. Cool, I can roll and drag him. That is fine. Okay, so uh, this is uh, going to be a bit of a fun journey back, but... I'm sure it'll be fine. Gonna need to kind of go around and across the shallows, I suspect. But what a place to, to find a dude. is on its way. As long as it doesn't attack our carpenter. Oh, hello. Right, we don't have time to read that. But that was cool to find. We'll have to come back and see what it says properly next time. The things we do so that we can capture a carpenter. Not just any carpenter, I mean this is a carpenter level 3. Now thankfully our Tanner has finished um, on the Wheel of Pain so we do have a spare space available. Otherwise this would be a very long and pain- Just leave me alone dude! He will eventually lose interest. As soon as those drums finish, he's still with us. That's okay, it's totally fine. And then that'll take us eight hours to break this carpenter on the Wheel of Pain. Now the reason I'm grabbing these is because I may need to make more fibre bindings. Actually I need to go this way. Really what I want is I want him to get stuck behind something. I mean, I could stop and kill him, but it wouldn't really give me any benefit for doing it. Other than him being off my tail. This 
You hear the snapping behind me. It's <laughs> so funny. And slightly terrifying as well, but mostly funny. Oh, hello, fat grub. I think I've got to go up here and then across to the left further. I think this takes me past that uh, cave. Sort of. It's not heading in the wrong direction, anyway. But we do have a long way to go dragging this chap. Now, one of the, uh, the skills that you can get is uh, momentum, where you don't get slowed, uh, slowed down for over-encumbrance. Ah, uh, giant spiders. That's what my brother was telling me about. Alright, let's go this way. We may be able to sneak past the camp. You know what, we'll just leave the spider alone as well. Don't think we're actually going to have the ability to do that. So let's get them killed. Right. You. We're not going to leave you just out in the open. Come along. Although I'm now tempted to actually harvest this guy. Feral flesh, chitin, and ichor. I mean, it's all all consumable. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to climb up there quite. So we're going to have to go round. There's the sentinel. This would be so much faster if I wasn't overburdened. But then you all know that as well. Ah, oh, did he get caught? Alright. Let's find where he got to. He could be anywhere in this. There he is. Ah, it's when I changed. That was it. Okay. So because it's a two-handed thing, I see... It gets treated like a shield. That's not a problem in itself. Okay. So, that's where my brother said Death, Death, Spider-Land was. This is the Fallen Temple, which means we are actually quite close to home. Now, 
if we roll off this edge, we should be fine. We can just drag him down with us. We're going to have to kill that single hyena. Hyenas fighting spiders. Now there's a thing of nightmares. All dead. Where is my carpenter? There he is. No! I just want to get this guy home. Leave me alone, you stupid creatures. Alright, fine. Everyone dead? Good. Um... We'll do it that way. The things we go through just to get a level 3 carpenter. I mean, le level 3 is the best that you can get unless you get a specific named mob. So it's worth our time to actually do this. Although I will admit it probably doesn't make for the highest entertainment in uh, in watching but it's it's worth seeing the uh, the different techniques that you can use for navigating while uh, dragging someone and also this does go to show that uh, making the rawhide bindings is worthwhile in terms of how long they last because these have dragged him all the way while I've been overburdened oh don't it's not worth your time. As soon as I can, I'm going to head up that hill. Get him dropped off. And then we can come back and play murder. It sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? I'm also gathering more plant fiber because it will be needed for gruel and we're going to need a lot of gruel. Right, before we get too far. I need... Five twine. And that's why. Because it's based on time rather than distance uh, for how long they last. And these will definitely last long enough just to get back up the top of the hill. <clears throat> and then we can load our new friend up with all the delicious gruel that he could possibly want. And uh, we'll see if we can uh, actually construct anything new from him as well. So it's the possibility of new recipes. Funny how uh, familiar this place ends up being. We've spent most of the game at this point now. And given the amount of construction that's gone in here, I'm I'm loath to build up further, like uh, make everything T2. I'd rather pick a new place 
and focus on getting that built and structured, but uh, that will be a much larger endeavor. And on the Wheel of Pain he goes. Alright, let's... Um, let's get him going with 46 seconds of rule at the moment. We've got so much stuff that we're going to have uh, to drop off. But I'll sort all of this out um, off camera. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. It's been a very interesting excursion. I mean, we've only just like done the south half of this, sort of. Um, so there's there's loads more that we're going to have to explore at some point, but uh, I'll save that for another episode. Uh, if you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you should do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Conan Exiles. See you soon.